On this video, I want to show you my three favorite tips to build the perfect leads list using LinkedIn Sales Navigator. These are tips that work only on Sales Navigator and not on LinkedIn free version. So the first one we'll look into is saved searches. So first you have to click on lead filters and you'll see you have a lot more filters than you have on LinkedIn, which allows you to have a more detailed search. So as an example, we'll look for head of sales in New York. You can look obviously for any title, any geography. This is just as an example. Uh, within companies who have 51 to 200 employees. As I can see here, it shows me 256 results. Using a saved search will allow you to be notified whenever a lead fits this criteria because you'll be able to see him in this uh, search. If you click on this button here, it's going to save the search and you're going to be notified whenever there's a new result. So I'm going to click on it, toggled it. Now if I click on save search, I can see that the search here has appeared. I can see for previous searches, I have here 417 new results since the first time I've created it and for other leads as well. If I click on it, I can right away see the new leads who fit exactly the criteria that I was searching for before. So this allows me to interact with leads who fit my criteria and be notified by them without having to do a new search again. Now going back to the search we've just done, I want to show you my second best tip, which is saving the leads into a specific list. Saving them into a list will allow you to know contextual information about these leads to be able to interact with them in a more personalized way. It's simple to do. You can like tick this box here, select the leads that you want, or you can select all of them. This is only going to select them within a page. You can also save the leads here into a list and I'm going to click here on save to list. Let's name it head of sales, New York because that's what it is, okay? You can add a comment as well if you need, you create and save, and that's done. To check your saved list, you can simply click on leads here, and I can see here my head of sales list. So now I have a lot of contextual information about those leads. I can see that there is one lead here who has changed job in the past 90 days. I can see that there are 11 leads here who have posted within the last 30 days on LinkedIn, so I can comment on their posts as well. And lastly, I can also see 10 leads with whom I have a shared experience. So this is an information that I can use to interact with them rather than just blindly sending them a message uh, that's generic or just connecting with them randomly. So now with this information, I have enough data to be able to engage with them in a more personalized way. And you can do that even right from Sales Navigator. If I click on the profile here, I can see when they've changed. So that was like three months ago. I can also see some of their latest activity here. If I click on it, I can also like and comment on the post. It helps me engage with the prospect before I even add them onto LinkedIn. Tip number three is a tip that you can use on the lead filters. And this is one of my favorite ones as well, is to use who has viewed your profile recently. There's a simple toggle that you can use here, clicking on this will show you who viewed your profile recently. Currently I have 570 people who have seen my profile. If my target is, for instance, founders, I can search for founders who have recently looked into my profile. There's 129. I can choose the geography, the type of company, and be sure that the people who viewed my profile are exactly fitting who I should target. If they viewed my profile, that means that there's probably a higher likelihood for them to respond to any of my messages or engagements because they've been onto my profile before and that's sort of generating an inbound. Now, bonus tip for you. I want to show you how you can export these lists. Because if you have 129 results or any other amount of results um, that we had, for instance, if I go into the save search, this is going to be difficult to add into any list. To do that, there's a simple extension called Scalist. If you go into scalist.com, this is one of the number one LinkedIn Sales Navigator extractors, which is a company that we run as well. You can try it for, for free. When you create an account, it's going to prompt you to add also the Chrome extension, which I've already added on my account, and shows this button here. If I click on Export Leads, it's going to right away uh, prompt me to scale list and show me the list. I'm going to do the example with the leads list here. So clicking on export lead prompts me on scale list. It's going to start scraping all the results. And also at the same time, it's going to search for my leads professional email. If it finds it, it's going to verify it to let me know whether it's valid or risky. A valid email is a verified email, which you can send the emails to safely, where risky emails are emails for which we're not able to define the validity and these emails will never eat up any credits uh, from scale list. Valid emails consume credits, whereas the risky emails are always free. Here you go. I've just exported in a few seconds my list of 25 leads. It told me that there are 18 emails in total, 14 of which are valid, four of which are risky. Then I can simply export it into a CSV, simple click and it downloads it, or I can also use it at Excel. Easy to go, 
Three tips to use Sales Navigator super easily with better filters than LinkedIn free and also a way to export your leads list in just a matter of seconds instead of taking hours to do that manually. Over to you and enjoy your lead generation.